FBI is taking a role in putting a stop to hate crimes in Lawrenceville. It held an outreach event there tonight. Kim Gable joins us live with more on the message they want to send. Kim. And Ken, the FBI, I can tell you, is taking this very, very seriously, calling this a disturbing trend, both nationally and locally. Agents came here tonight to a private community meeting to tell residents what to look out for when free speech crosses the line into criminal activity. In Pittsburgh's Lawrenceville community, neighbors are on alert, many of them concerned for their families and businesses. The organization Lawrenceville United says there have been at least 12 separate hate crime incidents in the last six months and other troubling propaganda. A number of flyers pop up around the neighborhood from white supremacist organizations in addition to specific acts of vandalism against businesses. Uh, some of that was um, specifically targeted uh, uh, against a Jewish owned business the night after Tree of Life and included anti-Semitic uh, defacement of a property. In other locations, swastikas and KKK symbols. The FBI is keeping residents informed. Here on the side of caution uh, for potential hate crime uh, indicators and again that's why we would try to educate so we can receive that information and hopefully prevent something from happening. Gladys Gines reported this act of vandalism to her Puerto Rican flag. My Puerto Rican flag on the floor and was full of feces and my porch was full of feces and then they threw uh, feces next to the wall in my house and I was really upset. That flag is for my father. He's a, a soldier. I'm really afraid. The thing's going to get worse, you know. And we do want to point out that a lot of folks here tonight were uh, reluctant to share their story publicly on camera. And the FBI points out that the latest national crime statistics show that hate crimes specifically are up about 17%. We're live tonight in Lawrenceville. Kim Gable, KDKA News.